Here's Brody Brazil. It remains really impressive how fast things are actually moving up in Salt Lake City right now regarding the future of professional sports. In the first six weeks of 2024 alone, you've had the Smith Group, owners of the Utah Jazz, come out with the NHL saying that they're seeking an expansion team for their city. And now the Miller Group on the baseball side has got renderings. They've got a site plan. They've got a whole idea here for Salt Lake City's power district. These renderings and this announcement, they just came out regarding a potential future Major League Baseball site. I'll give you some bits and pieces here from the announcement that says the Larry H. Miller Company and Miller family are leading a broad-based community effort called Big League Utah. They've been around for a while, but now they're getting serious, which is aimed at securing a Major League Baseball expansion franchise. I've underlined that, and I'll go back to that in just a second. Big League Utah has identified the Power District as the ideal location for an MLB ballpark. Larry H. Miller Company will invest $3.5 billion plus in the project to serve as an economic and cultural catalyst for Salt Lake City's west side. The Power District is a transformational private-public partnership in Utah's State Fair Park and the Jordan River. And I just have to say that they are kind of making it clear here, not trying to poach or steal a Major League Baseball team. They are aimed at securing Major League Baseball expansion. However, you kind of have to figure that if expansion is not immediately on the table, they will take what they can get. I don't want to put words in their mouth here. They're saying expansion, but obviously we know the Oakland A's situation kind of on unstable footing right now in terms of where they might play the next few years or where they might ultimately end up if Las Vegas doesn't happen. Okay, but more on that in a second. Let's go back to these renderings here. It's beautiful. The Wasatch Mountains off in the distance. Yes, I'm just going to say Wasatch because I now know how to say it properly. Skyline of Salt Lake City downtown. So this is not a downtown ballpark. This is in the Power District, but it's not far removed from downtown. It's also equal distance to the airport. A lot of locals seem to like this uh, this location as a destination. Right on the Jordan River right there. So, you know, any ballpark by a body of water, it just feels right. And they've been talking about this Power District for a while, but not until this point have they had beautiful renderings such as this. I mean, this is kind of the splash. There was these renderings, there was um, a news release, there was a video that was published too. They are trying to really capture attention here with this announcement and put their name on the map. If baseball expansion is going to happen by two cities with within the next handful of years before 2030, Nashville is already out there on the forefront. Nashville is the front runner, I think, in terms of the opportunity, but also in terms of where they're at as an organization. But again, that's just one. That's out east, and it makes sense. Salt Lake City in the west, obviously trying to position themselves ahead of a place like Portland, but also Portland just decided that they were going to the Portland Baseball, the Diamond Project up there. Uh, They just secured a piece of land west of downtown. So they're also making a very serious push here for the future of Major League Baseball. Another aerial shot here. I mean, this is just always incredible. It's right uh, next to the fairgrounds. I think they call it something else, the fair place uh, up there in Salt Lake City. But it's just, it's a nice location. It's beautiful renderings. It's also part of a 100-acre development. So again, it's not just the ballpark. It's all of this included. They're trying to revitalize that west side, which watching the video seems to be an area that has a lot of potential. It just needs some investment. And there you go. The University of Utah The Salt Lake City International Airport and downtown all kind of right next to each other. The power district in the middle of it all. It's got major roads. It's got rail transit. So this is already a very well-connected site. They've thought about this for a while. And now it seems like they're instantly ready to move forward with this development, not just the baseball stadium, but the entire development and what they hope is the baseball stadium to go along with it. There were some FAQs on the Miller Company's website, which I want to go over here as part of this video. What will be included in the development? Obviously, we can see the the baseball stadium that kind of stands out as the centerpiece of all this. But the Power District is an approximately 100-acre site in the heart of Salt Lake City's west side. In addition to the ballpark, the planned development will include retail, residential, commercial, and entertainment venues providing a 365-day experience with year-round activation and programming. The Power District will bring affordable housing options and employment opportunities to the area. Next question is, why the Power District? Well, it's an approximately 100-acre site. Shovel-ready in the heart of Salt Lake City's west side, bordered by the Jordan River, which, again, I know they like the waterfront. That's always beautiful. 
and features views of the downtown skyline and pristine Wasatch Mountains. It is readily accessible from I-80, I-215, I-15, and tracks their transportation system. The private-public partnership demonstrates the state's ability to be ready for MLB expansion now, a unique position among cities vying for consideration. Oh, they're not going to say Portland's name or maybe even uh, Las Vegas's name or Oakland's name, but they know those cities are out there. And it's also interesting to say ready for MLB expansion now. All of us know that MLB is not ready to expand now. So my point earlier in saying, well, yeah, they're positioning this as expansion. But honestly, by saying, just like in the NHL and the Smith announcement with the National Hockey League, we want expansion, but we could also take in a team at the Delta Center for hockey next year. Obviously, this ballpark is not built yet, but what they're saying is we could take a baseball team in as soon as we can get a ballpark built, and we are shovel ready to build a ballpark right now. Make sense? You've got to read between the lines here sometimes. What is the timeline? Because of the private investment and support, planning and construction on the improvements to the west side, including the Power District, oh, State Fair Park, there you go, not fairgrounds, Fair Park, and Jordan River parcels can begin right away. Construction on the improvements to the west side can begin right away. MLB has not put a timeline on team expansion. Obviously, Oakland and Tampa are very much unsettled, but the shovel-ready nature of the site at the Power District will enable ballpark construction to begin immediately as needed. I mean, wow. It sounds like they've got not only the renderings, but blueprints and uh, approvals. It's, I mean, this, this sounds like it is all lined up and ready to go literally tomorrow if they get the word. So they've got the money. They've got the approvals. Well, who's on board here? Actually, who, who's behind this? Here's a quote from Utah's governor, Spencer J. Cox. Quote, the West Side is a gathering place for so many people and an opportunity to be a showcase as people are visiting our state for the first time to see this incredible development, as well as potentially Major League Baseball sitting right there, welcoming people into the capital city of Salt Lake City in Utah. But it's not just Utah's governor, Spencer J. Cox. It's also the Senate president, Stuart J. Adams, House Speaker Mike Schultz, State Senator Luz Escamilla, State Senator Lincoln Fillmore, State Representative Ryan Wilcox, State uh, Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall. All of those individuals are also on board here. And so just to summarize my takeaways, this might be the most simplistic final page on a presentation I've ever done. My takeaways are this for the Power District ballpark site and the Miller Group. Right, You know that they're good for this. They were former owners of the Utah Jazz. They're the ones behind the daybreak development. They're the ones already building that 7,500-seat minor league stadium for the Salt Lake Bees and the, the entire community around it. This is that same Miller group. They've got this land lined up. They've got the money behind it to make this happen. And they, it seems like they've got the political approvals to make this go through. And so in my opinion, this will happen in some way, shape, or form. I don't know a year. I don't have a timeline on that. I don't know what team. Are we we really talking expansion here? Or are we talking Salt Lake City going after whatever they can get as soon as possible? Remember, with a Major League Baseball team, you'd have to think the Miller Group wants to be an owner of that, right? They're, they are big league Utah. They're the ones trying to bring Major League Baseball expansion. But what if there was a team that moved without a $2 billion expansion fee? That might be the easier way to go. So I'm, I'm not suggesting anything entirely here or specifically. Or I'm, I'm just saying overall in the big picture, what you just saw on your screen in some way, shape, or form is probably going to happen by the year 2030. And let me also say this about the Oakland A's as kind of the unsettled team out there right now in the West that Salt Lake City might have their eyes on and they might start construction early to get this ballpark going if they can see they really have a chance to land the Oakland A's. Looking at the A's from an Oakland fan perspective, if you're worried about Las Vegas as ultimately taking and hosting and keeping the A's, I understand there's been a lot going on. There's a lot of approvals already down there in place. But let me just say this here in mid-February of 2024, as much as people have their eyes on Las Vegas right now about the A's going there, 
You might equally want to think about Salt Lake City and what they're doing and what they have ready, a platform they have literally just waiting. They're dangling this out there to the A's and Major League Baseball. We'll see if it actually plays a factor in that entire process. So it's a future site. It's impressive. I like what they've done. They're advanced. I mean, there's renderings of this ballpark before there's one in Las Vegas for the A's. But this goes in line with what we've seen for Kansas City and the Royals' new ballpark. The White Sox have renderings for a new ballpark. Obviously, Portland has an idea of a new location. There is so much stadium stuff going on right now in Major League Baseball. It's all pretty incredible. But yeah, Utah and pro sports, uh, things are changing there. And things are definitely going to expand out there with hockey and probably baseball too by 2030. You made it here to the end of the video. You know I appreciate that. Thumbs up down below. That'll greatly help me in this channel. And by the way, if you're just stopping by here for the very first time, you've never seen me before, uh, that's awesome. I'm happy you found me, but just make sure you subscribe to the channel so I can definitely see you back here next time.